It's 2023, so what are the current year Marvel and DC writers most concerned about? Trump and literal Nazis. I shit you not, they're still whining about this to this day. How many years has Trump been out of office? How many years has Biden been in here just destroying our economy? I don't write books about, like, the old man Biden pooping his pants, by the way. Uh, you know, I've got better things to write about. I, uh, I have more greater concerns in life than that kind of thing. But these people are obsessed with Trump. If you look at the most recent Wonder Woman number 1 by Tom King and Captain America number 1 by J. Michael Straczynski, they are both just riddled with Trumpisms. They're sitting there obsessing over this man. Why? It's absolutely crazy at this point. So Captain America, uh, I'm going to gloss over real quick because the Tom King one's a little funnier. Uh, the Captain America deal is, of course, fighting literal Nazis and literal Nazis in America. And it has to deal with like a, uh, a slumlord shutting down uh, a, 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 a building and, of course, saying that they're going to put in a new sky rise. So, of course, it's, a, it's obviously like a, a Trump real estate tycoon in New York uh, hurting the poor people who just can't pay their rent. And Captain America uh, uses government funds uh, from his Avengers paycheck, which I guess he makes millions to buy uh, land in New York, uh, and just to keep the place open as, a, as like a little slum development uh, and then put rent controls on it. It doesn't make any sense, but, you know, Captain America is a commie in order to gotcha Trump these days. Okay, Wonder Woman is even worse, and we're going to get to this in just a moment. So my name is John Delarose. I'm a number one best-selling author and award-winning comic creator. I'm putting up new stories on my Subscribestar. I'm making independent comics, and of course, we are trying to fund monthly books. That's my goal. We need about 300 backers to get there, and we're a tenth of the way there. We're gaining new people every day. I really appreciate you guys for coming in hard on this, and uh, onward and upward. We're going to produce what we can. We put out a couple great short comics, uh, The Steam Knight, uh, which is based on my Von Monocle series, and of course, a new one called uh, Strike Team Ultima, which is going to be a uh, superhero team that we're going to do a full book of later, just kind of as teasers. And, uh, you know, comic art's expensive, so we're trying to just get it done here. Now, if there's things that you want, I want to appeal to you. You are the customer. I care about what you guys want. I care about the direction you guys want. We're going to start trying different things. If you like something, tell us. If you don't, we'll cut it and we'll do something else. I mean, that's how uh, a, a book business should go. And I'm having a lot of fun doing it. So please check this out. I've also got my bookstore uh, for my released books already in the description below. If you guys want to check that out, we got a lot of good stuff. And uh, my Amazon links as well. Really appreciate you guys for supporting our channel and supporting our efforts in the culture here. Because we got to fight against this stuff. And we got to be the difference. And monthly books is going to be the way to do it. So we can compete against this. Dawn of DC Wonder Woman. Here we are. <clears throat> the beautiful Wonder Woman uh, by Tom King and uh, I, I think... Uh, Jesus or Luis Sempre or something. And there it is. So I noticed that like all the women in this look very masculine to start. Maybe that's uh, the fetish that these guys have, these uh, kind of transgender masculine ladies that they want in here. I'm going to do full reviews of both this and Captain America number one on my uh, comic review channel as well. But I'm just going to get to the Trump stuff because at the at the heart of this, it's a, it's a Trump immigration story. I'm dead serious. The Amazons have immigrated here. And, uh, and of course, there was a couple, there was a little bit of a crime, you know, there somebody like went on a killing spree, uh, murdering, like mass murdering an entire bar. <laughs> and, then, and of course, the, the government goes, hey, we're gonna, we're gonna shut down uh, immigration, just like, you know, it's just like Trump, just like Trump did, because he says those MS-13 gang members are coming in. And it's just hurting innocent people to shut down immigration. This is exactly what they're doing. Now, the immigration policies worked, and of course, uh, MS-13, in conjunction with what Naib's done in El Salvador, has gone very well. And of course, people like Tom King hate this. Tom King, former CIA operative, uh, wants all these uh, destabilized governments in Central America uh, in order to mess uh, with uh, world politics, because that's what these guys are like. But that's another rant for another time. It continues with this whole Trump thing. Obviously, all the, all the villains are white males, and they're all in the government, and they're all just like allegories for Republicans. It's so funny to watch. They give like a Fox News-style interview where he talks about safety and all that and says, it's not like there's a shadow king running the government, and there totally is. And it's an old man who has a lasso of untruth. I shit you not. And that, <laughs> it's Trump's Twitter, <laughs> the book, <laughs> according to these people. So, uh, you know, as they think, uh, you know, everything is just a lie of Trump and everything's about the immigration policy. You show they show uh, women being separated from children and, and crying. It's it, it is the like 2016 
wet dream of all these Democrats in DC Comics. And it's so bad. I just can't believe it. Uh, it is like, how do you do this a decade later? But this is Tom King, and this is all they think about all day long. These people have nothing other than their their politics. Uh, this is their religion, you got to remember, at the end of the day. So this is literally all they can think to write about when writing about Wonder Woman. Sad to watch, but pretty funny, and gives us a great opportunity for independent comics because we're going to show the way. We're making better stories. We're doing better things all the way around, and we're going to crush them through our subscribe star, and we're going to crush them through the books we've already got out. So go check those out, my friends. And let's make a difference today. See you soon.